meteorologist Chris Boone. That was another warm December day, at least since we got into the afternoon hours. We saw some of those high clouds passing that didn't really affect our temperatures all that much. Again, mostly because of that subtropical jet. See how this line kind of extends from the Pacific out over the four corners areas and moves into Texas. That's all that moisture coming in from the Pacific all up in the upper level, so really not a big factor for our temperatures. It allowed us to warm up pretty nicely today. Again, we got up to 75. In fact, this is kind of one of those weird days where both our afternoon high and our early morning low were closer to the records than they were our normal temperatures. So again, showing off that wide range of temperatures that we saw, thankfully, because of those mostly clear skies. Again, a 50 degree spread between our overnight lows. We saw that climb going up into the mid 70s as we got into the afternoon hours. Now that we've gotten past sunset, starting to see those temperatures begin to die down and again settling into those lower 50s. 51 now, right now in downtown San Angelo. And those southerly winds have started to die down just a little bit, only about five miles per hour. That's still going to be the culprit for as why we have those warmer temperatures for the next couple of days. It's going to continue to bring that warm air into our area. 40s and 50s for much of the map. 51 in Brady, 52 in Eden, 52 in Menard as well. A couple 40s out towards El Dorado and Sterling City again at 47. So again, very cool night. We'll again take about another 10 degrees off. We'll get down into the lower 40s and upper 30s for our overnight lows. Still feeling the warmer effect of those southerly winds. Again, this temperatures that we're seeing outside still about 10 to 15 degrees above what we saw yesterday. So again, big cool down for us on Monday and a big warm up going into Tuesday. And we're going to stay with that warming trend going for the rest of the week. Again, we saw some breezier conditions during the afternoon. Not as bad as what we saw on Monday, but still saw some increased winds during the late morning and early afternoon hours. Once we get into the evening hours, though, things start to calm down, get down into the single digits. But as we go into Thursday, that's when we're really going to start to watch those winds really picking up, I'm gonna, ramping up from the southwest. Again, you could see gusts getting up into that 35 mile per hour range, especially during a Thursday afternoon. And that's going to continue for us on Friday as well. So again, we'll be watching for those breezy winds as we finish up the week. And again, staying with those warmer temperatures as that ridge builds in. It won't be until Saturday. We start to see that dip in the jet stream. The cooler air starts to work its way down into the Concho Valley, bringing those shades of green and blue, those cooler temperatures for the area. Then we'll warm back up as we go into Sunday. Again, tonight, temperatures dipping into the upper 30s lower 40s once again so still a little bit warmer than what we saw last night for sure but we'll still hang on to the mostly clear skies some high clouds passing as you go into tomorrow temperatures very similar to what we saw today upper 70s for afternoon highs with some winds picking up during the afternoon so pretty quiet seven day forecast we'll look at those breezy conditions returning for the end of the week and temperatures could be getting close to records again our records for both thursday and friday are in the low 80s we're expected to be pretty close to that then that cold front comes through knocking us back down into the 50s with some much cooler air for the weekend